Lisa Kwok has two problems. Her bones are thinning and her cholesterol is high. She's taking calcium, but now she's worried that what may help her bones may hurt her heart. I think why this study concerns me is because of all the different factors I represent. And at some point, we're going to have to make a decision as I get older. It's a decision faced by millions. New research released tonight looked at 11 studies involving almost 12,000 patients. Those receiving calcium supplements had about a 30% increase in heart attacks. I think it's important for us to look at this study and rethink our practice. We shouldn't just recommend supplementation for all of our patients. More study is definitely needed, but now it looks like it's better to get your calcium through food, which doesn't seem to cause this type of heart problem. Katie? So is this a real conundrum, John, for doctors? I mean, what are they going to tell their patients about this? It is a conundrum, and this may represent a real sea change. I know I have tons of patients, especially women after the age of 50, who are taking calcium supplements. And now I'm going to say, let's see if we can get it from food, not just dairy, but other things, lots of things in, in like the... sardines. Sardines, figs, almonds, Spinach. broccoli, soy beans. Yeah. So we're going to have a more complete list up on our website. But the, the bottom line here is one size doesn't fit all, and doctors have to rethink what they were just automatically doing. All right. My doctor told me to get it from food this morning, in fact. And your doctor was correct. Okay. John LaBook, John, thanks so much.